What is up, my YouTube wanderers? Welcome back to the Derm channel, and welcome back to more Game Dev Tycoon. I didn't have to look that time. I'm smart. It's because I looked right before I started that. Yes, we're back with Game Dev Tycoon, leaving off right, and I mean right where we left off at the last episode, maybe like three seconds after. Had to make sure to save game, but yes, this will be the last episode I'll be recording these mass batches, so obviously I won't be able to see any of your feedback or anything so episode four i will be able to use your feedback so please leave that down in the uh comments i would love to see what you guys say about this and also remember while you're down there maybe hit the like subscribe notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos because hey man we're creating a games company and you can't mess out on that but without that without further ado let's get back into it so you guys missed a little bit, uh, the Gavador's losing uh, market share, so it seems like we're not going to be going to the Gavador much anymore. Uh, and I'm getting ready to start a new game engine after doing a quick contract, and this is stuck on my screen, but whatever. Uh, I totally didn't have it on the wrong screen, just looking at my face as I'm playing a video game. But we're going to call this the Bubble... Bubble engine. I can't even see it. I'm gonna hope it's spelled right. Yes, it is. All right. So we gotta put a lot of points into it. We get a few research points. We are going to be pushing it on cash for a little bit. We're back to being broke, bitches. But today, Invento has announced that they will be introducing a portable game device called GameLink. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given with the lower cost and excellent portability, might find a huge following. The GameLink is set to hit shelves next month. Might put games out on that. But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be able to put a lot more into games. A lot more money into them may make much bigger scale games. 100k engine. The bumble and the bubble engine is now complete. We are going to do a quick contract. I'm going to risk the big one. If it does not work, I might be broke. Oh please! Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, the gameling has been released. Oh, but I'm gonna be broke. Oh, I'm not making it. We can go into 50k of debt. All right. Fuck, dude. Um. All right, we uh. We kind of just need to develop a new superhero. Uh, action game on the TES with the bubble engine. We're gonna literally be bankrupt. Oh, they're gonna be pissed at us, the bank. Bank, just literally let me put out this quick game. Uh, story and quest. Oh, we'll take the 83k because I'm going to pay it off once I do this game. I totally didn't almost go bankrupt in episode 3 of the series. I didn't name the game. Whatever. Level design, yes. AI a bit down. Dialogues and a bit more time. Because apparently level design in an action game is big. Oh, quit having bugs, man. Uh, I gotta add something to make this a little bit better, make it world design a little bit more, but otherwise, I don't need sound. I think I want graphics over sound. Let's go with that. We are literally, like, the bank is sitting here like, yo, you, you, this game better be a big one or else you're gonna be broke forever. We're in year four and I already almost went broke, man. With the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines obviously a great new way. So now we can do marketing. With this big design record, maybe not technically, but design-wise. 
Alright. This wasn't the huge game I was hoping to put out. I didn't name it. I'm an idiot! This is why I can't mass record things, because by the end I'm like half delusional. But it's a good game. Ah. Uh, look at this. You want a big game. This is our first game to have a bunch of eights. Game number seven. I didn't even name it right. It's going to be ten, almost 10k. Look at this. A bank. Once I have the money back, can I just pay back, man? Okay. Game report on lovely pets first. And then game seven. I still hate that I didn't name it right. I can't change the name now. It's forever going to be game seven. Mm -hmm. Story quest not important. Uh, G64. Yep. That'll probably be our last game we ever do on a G64. Uh, if we ever do anything like that, we could do PC games. If you have more than one mil in cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. Uh huh. Okay, Master V, the Vena Gear. Oh boy, I don't even want to look at what they're talking about. That. Mmm. So the game report. So superhero action, great. Sound not important. TES action's okay. TES and everyone's good. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna get good. Yes. 13, 13, 20. Uh, I could do that. That should be fairly easy. Just throw a little bit of extra chump change in my pocket because I think I'm gonna need it. Because you know what we're gonna do, guys? What other topics can we research? Can, what? Is there one? A detective simulation? Mad Scientist Simulation. I'm thinking we make ourselves our next game. Being another assassin game. Another assassin action game. Do we go wild and go mature? I think we throw this on the... Why does Master V have a lot of share. Yeah, the G64 is losing all its shares. I think we put this... Ah, but it wouldn't fit there. But if we do E, I think... Hold on, bubble engine. I think the tests would be good for it. And let's... Oh my god. Let's call this one... Night Watch. We're gonna go 2D Graphics V2. We're gonna go and put all of everything new. We have researched recently. We're putting it in this. Linear story, save game, game tutorials. We put money into this. Uh, an assassin action game. Good story and quests. Great gameplay, okay engine. Game seven's off the market, and it made us almost 300k. Wild. Uh, yeah, level design, decent AI, dialogues. I won't put a bit of no dialogues. All right, the Vena gear ha is out. Again, there's a lot of different consoles out right now. It's wild, man. Uh, apparently, sound is fairly important, but I think graphics... I'm going to go for that. I didn't put any of the extra shit in. Fuck! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Let's get some bugs out. Guess this isn't gonna be our all encompassing game. We'll do another one. Look at him, you can see him typing. Say you do a double record, baby! Finally using 2D graphics V2. Better user experience. Let's instantly go in and research. Marketing, because that's going to be the big one, is being able to maybe put out some marketing. Some uh, re reviews for Nightwatch. Six, action-adventure, great combo. 
enjoyable. I like that. Could have been better. Shut up, Game Hero. I like it. All games is on my side all of a sudden. I like this. Let's see how much money it rakes in. The G64 will be taken off the market. Mm. So we research marketing. Generate a game report. And then we're finally. I'm gonna do my big. Hey, this is the one that is gonna break in all the money. Game. There we go. Game report. Hold on, I want that first. Uh huh. Engine's important. Assassin, and everyone's okay. Yeah, Assassin needs to be a mature game, but everyone. I kind of need a new topic. Wait, no, we gotta do research. We gotta get a new topic. Uh. What if we did a mythology adventure game? Sure. And then put all of our hard-earned points into it. Hardware manufacturers around the world are surprised today as Gavador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Gavador failed to introduce a higher-priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. 149000 dollars in a couple months time. Cool. That is why I'm already getting another game going. Because I can Yeah, research mythology. Uh everyone. Mythology. Uh Mythology RPG. Let's do an RPG on the God. It's all the small consoles that I have most to share. But I still think I want to put it out on PC with the bubble engine and 2D Graphics V2. G64 is no longer supported. We made $523,000. Let's see. For an RPG, storing quests, yes. Gameplay a bit. But I think engine more than gameplay for an RPG. Because RPGs have never had like the greatest. 177, not the greatest, not the worst. Hey, can you guys like wait till I put up my next game before you take all the money on my account? Please. Uh, level design, AI, but maybe not AI, but dialogues. Hmm. <laughs> this song also has a banging soundtrack. We got the mono sound. World design over graphics with some good sound. I just need to give enough graphics to make it worth it. Uh, I don't like things going into the negative per uh, down the percents. Let's get some of them bugs out. I didn't name it again. Oh. Cool, that's perfect because I'm just getting ready to put out a new game. Got some upgrades included to me. I'm level three, baby. Uh, let's go. The God's Realm. Or let's, no, it's the God's Realm. Alrighty, yeah, now that we're down to 45k, so the reviews of the God's Realm. 10! Big 10, baby! Big 10, baby! Big 10, baby! That's a 10! That's an all 5 star! Let's go! Perfect game! Oh my god! Oh, look at that! Oh, almost 100k sold on the first day. Now we hit 100k. Oh my god. Over 100k units. So we're gonna move into the new office. 
new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff. And boys, we will be hiring staff. Look, it says Bubble Boy Games. But all of that will be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, this is a nuts episode. We went from last episode being like, eh, to all of a sudden, good games, Greek mythology, me coming off a screw up, a big five star, clean slate 10 game. In the God's Realm, because I know this game lets us do sequels, there will be a God's Realm 2 and probably 3. This game was so good. Or maybe I'll leave it alone. Or maybe not, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Boo-boo! Boo-boo! Boo-boo!